Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to go over something that came up from my last uh, writing video, the one about how I am a writer in LA kind of shit. I'm actually getting a lot of... The funny thing is, I'm not getting as many comments as I thought I would on that video, but I'm getting a lot of emails about that video. Some of the people have been kind of angry, like I'm calling them out and shit, and I'm not fucking calling anybody out. I'm telling you how I do shit and how I see things working, and if you want things to work for you, maybe try doing at least some of the things that I fucking talked about. If you don't want to fucking do it, don't fucking do it. It's not that big of a deal. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not your fucking mom. I'm not your fucking wife. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. So anyway, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> oh, I just haven't had a chance to bitch. Okay, so what this video is about today is the thing I see almost every writer do when they self-publish something. For those of you who get upset when I call them fucking out, get ready to fucking clutch your fucking pearls because I'm about to call you out, but I'm doing it out of love. I'm not doing it because I think you're a piece of shit. I'm doing it because this is not unique to you. This problem is not just a you thing. This problem isn't you not being good enough of a thing, okay? This is just something that fucking happens. Okay, the problem that most new writers or writers who have released one book, self-published by the way, the problem that I see almost all of these people have is the sophomore slump. And I think it's a little different the way I'm going to describe it than how most people think about it. It's like the sophomore slump is usually like you put out your first book, your first movie, your first album as a band or whatever. And that first one was really good because, you know, you spent a lot of time on it and all this other shit you spent... I don't know. It was more pure, let's say. And then typically the next thing you do is kind of shit because you were worried about making something as good as the first thing. And in worrying, you fucked everything up. That's usually what that means. But I'm talking about the sophomore slump slump, which is... A lot of times, people put out their first book. The expectations for what that book did did not meet what the author or poet had in mind. And they're pissed off about it. And they get all fucking mad and shit. Okay? Or, instead of getting pissed off, they get disheartened. They get depressed. They're like, I was really banking on this book doing great and it just did mediocre, or it didn't do anything. And now I don't know what to do, because it's like I was banking on this book, like making me a name and all this shit, and it didn't. And so people get all upset about it, okay? Now, what you have to understand is that whatever your expectations are, for your first book to come out, you're never gonna meet those expectations. You will never meet those expectations. Even when people's books succeed and they do really, really great, those people didn't expect that. They hoped for that, but they didn't expect it. So anytime you release a book, meeting expectations is never, ever something that's gonna happen. And what I see a lot of people do, they put their first book out 
and it doesn't meet their expectations or it doesn't meet the expectations that their spouse or their partner or their family or their friends put on them and then they're just like well shit that was a lot of work and it didn't really add up to much so maybe everyone's right and I shouldn't quit my day job that's fucking bullshit every fucking book every first time book that comes out is never going to meet your expectations the only way books meet expectations is when you keep putting out books the reason being is every time you put out a new book that tells the community that you are somebody who is worth a damn they go wow this person has to be doing okay if they're putting out another book and all that fucking is is fucking confidence confidence in yourself confidence in your ability okay so keep putting books out the more you put books out the more people will buy your new book and your old book and your old book before that pretty soon you're just gonna start selling a shit ton of books because people look at you as I mean if you want to use the term authority they look at you as an authority on a topic because you're constantly doing it it's like I can't tell you guys not to have feelings about when because like it sucks when you put a book out and it doesn't sell okay but the only way that you will continue to sell books is if you continue to sell books and the only way to continue to sell books is to keep putting shit in front of people most people have to see something seven times before they decide if they're actually going to buy something okay with that said like if you ran one ad or you told people to buy whatever like you did a post on instagram and not everyone bought it okay people have to see something seven times before they decide if they're going to buy something or not so i know you think you don't want to be pushy and you think you don't want to bug the shit out of people but statistically speaking people aren't even going to think about buying something unless they've seen it seven times that's why there's the goodyear fucking blimp it just shows the brand name over and over and over again and some of you might be going well it's easy for you to say dude i've been telling you i mean how many videos has it been now three or four where i'm like hey extra extra is only a dollar on my etsy shop and not many people are going to get it but i'm going to keep doing that and in about a week a bunch of motherfuckers are going to go fucking buy it for a dollar and they'll probably buy more than one book because that's how shit works it's not because you're not good enough it's because people don't fucking know people don't know about you so when you write that book the worst thing you can fucking do after you put that book out is wait and then decide you're not going to put anything else out because you're like wounded you gotta keep fucking going you just have to that's how you get your shit in front of people and that's how people know what the fuck it is you're doing okay a little bit of tough love didn't mean to fucking ruffle your feathers let me know if you guys have any questions down below and i'm gonna go get some fucking thai food because i'm a hungry little fucking beaver and i'll talk to you all fuckers later